Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp and DoorDash for sponsoring today's episode. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of You Can Sit With Us. I'm one of your hosts, Becky, and I'm joined by Matthew. Hello. Our little raindrop. Yeah. And that's it. You got the three today. We've got another exciting show for you. But before we jump in, let's just do a little wellness check. (gasps) Matthew. Mental health check. How are you, BB? Amazing. (laughs) Today's a day. You know, we're today for us is a Friday. We're looking forward to the weekend. You know, gonna relax, time for ourselves, have some parties to go to. <gasps> what are you we gonna have do to, wear. to relax? Um, How are you gonna chill out? Try to be healthy. Mm-hmm. Um, try to work out a little bit. Yes, get this but endorphins. So I I relax a lot through cooking. I like to cook mm-hmm. and stuff at home. So just you know the the not repetitive nature, but you know the. Okay. meditative nature of yeah. cooking is nice. Yeah. yeah, it's like half thinking almost. Mm-hmm. It's like you're like physical, you're moving and stuff, but it's Lots like you of don't like have to like really. and taste yeah. and like the sound of the stove. Mm-hmm. The dogs like at your little feet trying to get all the mm-hmm. scraps that fall, you all know? All the nibbles. I am in. Yes. Um, I'm going to see a movie tonight. Oh. I'm going to go see Kel Missing. Film. What is it? Missing. Do you missing. remember? Missing. Searching. So not taken. Not taken. But missing. Missing. Do you remember searching from like years ago with I do uh not. my memory does not serve me. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, please. I forget like every movie like ten minutes after I watch it, I swear <laughs> to God. It was with um what's his name? The hot guy from Harold and Kumar. The one who worked I'm gonna look up his name. No clue. I can I never remember <laughs> any movies. Becky remembers every single person, every single movie, every single plot point. I'm like You're like, who knows? Gone. You sure. look the present. His name is John. Living for the present. <laughs> Living for the future. Exactly. Why is I do you like not go to the movies often? Is that why it's John a big Cho. thing? That's what I was saying. Oh, John Cho. Up. Yeah. John Cho. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna go see. It's kind of like that where the movie happens over like Facebook mm. and like different messenger apps. Mm. It's a thriller. Mm. Mm. Scary. <laughs> Might be a little scary. The other one wasn't that scary, so I don't know. Missing, you're missing. Missing. But I, I thought it looked really good. I wonder if it's going to be like they're missing on the social media platforms. Like they can't find them on the platforms. Like what's the premise? You don't know. They're yeah. missing. There's a trailer, Matt. When movies come out, there's a trailer <laughs> that accompanies it to tell you what it's about. This girl's mom goes on a trip and then goes missing. Oh, the mom she, the goes mom missing. mom goes missing. And the girl has to search for her using her social medias mm. and like security camera footage and stuff like that. And like newspaper articles that she Googles. Wow. Mm-hmm. Like you see everything on the screen from a screen. Mm. Crazy. So meta screen life. Mm-hmm. Hashtag <laughs> screenshot. I think it looks really good. I'm in a big horror kick right now or like thriller kick. Mm. I made Keith watch Hereditary the other day. He's oh never God. watched it before. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say Hereditary is a horror film, though that is what it is labeled as. I would say it's like an uncomfortable movie. And then at the end, it's really funny. <laughs> it is funny at the end where uh-huh. you leave being like, "It's we're okay, we're okay. No, no, no. You're like deeply fucked up by it. It's, yeah. le- it's by the same guy who did Midsommar. So it makes you feel like very mm. uncomfortable th- throughout mm. really all of it. But it has like one of the best. There's a scene like, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes in that I'm like, this is just like the best. Who the fuck thinks of this? Like whose brain? It was so well, good. It could be yours. You could be the person to do mm. that next. You know what I did if think If you were be, to do a horror movie, what would your horror movie be like? Like what would be Well, the, see, the I stick? don't think I could come up with original ideas. That's why I could never be a writer. But what I could be is a person who looks at your script and tells you whether or not I guessed what the ending was. <laughs> like oh. a bump up person, but for like thrillers or like mm-hmm. scary movies. Uh-huh. And I'd be like, okay, this was the twist. Mm. I feel like that should be a job and I could get it. Mm. I mean, I feel like everyone feels that way. An editor, probably. Like I was yeah. thinking like test group. You know? <gasps> a test uh, group person. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what they do. You have to react. Like, that's true. And tell people like how you felt about the film. Yeah. You're like I knew like the first five minutes what was going to happen. You know? Mm-hmm. Cray. I am really good at guessing endings. I did not guess what was going to happen in Hereditary. Mm-hmm. They did a good job at hiding a very pivotal plot point from the commercial. Secret secrets. Or from the trailer. I hate when there's too much in the trailer. Yeah. yeah sometimes it's really like, hey, I saw the movie. My God, yeah. I know. Even this new M. Night Shyamalan movie, Knock on the Door, 
It's coming out mm. in like two weeks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like that trailer showed half the movie. Yeah. And even though it's Night Shyamalan, you know there's going to be like a crazy twist or something. Yeah. But like, put less. Yeah. Put, <laughs> put less. Hide more. Put less things in the trailer. Did Keith hide like more. it? No. Yeah. <laughs> he was not happy that we watched it. <laughs> he did not want to watch it again. Force, I, he he came into the yeah, he came into the living room the other day and I was like, Oh, I found a movie for us to watch. There wasn't anything good, so I think I thought but I thought this one looked good. Yeah. And it was like Pray for the Devil or something. Yeah. And he was like, he literally just walks out of the room and goes, No, no, <laughs> not again. No. <laughs> not again. No. You made him watch that before. <laughs> I didn't want to watch anything scary. It's a very small <laughs> threshold for like Megan. It, he thought Megan was scary and like perfect, <laughs> which it was perfect. But Megan is not a scary movie. <laughs> you could bring a baby to Megan. Oh my I mean, God. they would see like blood and gore, but like it is not a scary movie. <laughs> Have you watched any good movies lately? I feel like you and Eugene are like secretly like people think me and Zach watch a lot of movies. You and Eugene are little... TV bunnies. You Ugh. love watching these. He just things. makes me watch all these things and I don't even know what I'm getting into. <laughs> like there's like this this new series on Netflix. It's like Japanese horror shorts. Ooh. They're so messed up. Oh. <laughs> They're so messed up. Like one was like <laughs> one was like oh my gosh. <laughs> You're too strong. You don't need to work out anymore. One was like this girl and it was a curse that she had and it was her basically her Every year, her skin would grow another layer. Like she was like a tree. You know how that tree has rings and the rings grow out? It was like that. So inside was like the little baby her and on the outside was the like 20-something-year-old her. And they only knew because she got in a car accident and like half of her skin got taken away. And the mom was like possessed and was like, I want my two-year-old daughter back. So then she was like clawing the skin. Messed up. What do you want to watch that he doesn't want to watch? So I really like... Like historical fiction stuff, you know, like the Hell Gilded yeah. Age. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or I like Scandi crime dramas. Ooh, like yeah, what? Wait, like wait, wait. Is that, dark, that's not like Castle? Mysterious. Yeah. Mm, like, like more, <laughs> more Scandi. Like a, he, he likes more Scandi. Wait, yeah, like from one? like Norway, you know. Oh, with subtitles. Yeah. Subtitles. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah, every time there's a subtitle, I'm like, I'm not going to do that. It's too much. That's too much. I, too much if I want to read, I'll read, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And if I want to watch true. TV, I'm going to watch TV. Although I have heard there's a really good, is it Elite? That Rainy, one's really you good, cannot right? watch Elite. I will not let you. No way. <laughs> I've watched it, not for your eyes, baby girl. Isn't it like softcore porn, basically? <laughs> it's not like softcore porn. By the like fourth season, I watched the first three seasons. <laughs> the first season, you're like, wow, this is pretty graphic sex, but like it's España, so. España. You know, whatever. <laughs> They're, you know, more open with their bodies there. Then you get to the second season and you're like, oh my God. You get to the third season. It's like every I had to pull the blinds. I was <laughs> like, nobody the, can watch what you I'm watching. You want the neighbors seeing you watching yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> because our TV is right. It's like our living room's not that big, and the TV's right in front of where the window is, so everyone yeah. can see what show we're watching. And I was like, no, I have to put the blinds down. Rainy, you can't watch it. It's too mature. <laughs> Rainy, uh-uh. Rainy uh-uh. You, you're being censored. No, okay, I won't. I won't. I won't. My virgin eyes. I don't want to. <laughs> the first season is really good, though. I thought okay. it was pretty good. It's a good like. But, it's like crime. That's the gateway season. Just I know. Get I know. Okay, you can watch it. Just cover your eyes. It's just so graphic. <laughs> it's just so. Isn't graphic. that also subtitles in Spanish? <laughs> it is subtitled. Yeah. <laughs> it's in Spanish. I like Young Royals. Is good too. That one's mm. cute. Mm-hmm. Not porny. Yeah. That one's Dutch, I think. I, I also Sweet. like. It's Swedish. Sved. Sveds. Um, I also like um, lady detective shows. <laughs> you know? what, what is an example of a lady detective? <laughs> um, like Franny Fisher. You know, she's this, oh. she is this lady detective that's supposed to be like back in like, <laughs> I think like the 20s or the 30s in, in Australia. So good. <laughs> Marcella, you loved Marcella. Marcella was so good. Yeah. What was the other uh, one? Oh, did you like the Kate Winslet one? A Mayor of Easttown. A Mayor of Easttown. Yeah, that was yeah. so good. Well, she has the crazy like Philadelphian accent or whatever, yeah. the Philly accent, which really isn't Philly. It's kind of like somewhere outside Philly. But I would always make fun of my friend Dorian because she's from Philly, and she says ho- shout out hoagie, to Dorian Hoagie. They say like Hoagie uh-huh. or Hoagie. So hoagie. Funny. hoagie. So I always thought really Mayor of Easttown was M A Y O R. Not well, Mayor. her name's Mayor. 
Her name is M A R E. That's her name. Isn't that yeah. a horsey? Mare is also a female horse. Yeah. Mare is kind of a cool name. That was her name in the show. I Mare. like Maeve too. Similar but different. Do you? Oh, you know what you should watch? Is Sex Education. Have you ever watched? Oh, I yeah. have. Sex Education so yeah. good. I need. To, I need to try again. I started it in, but I, I was in college. I feel like I might really like it now. My mom it's, loved it. It's yeah. really, really cute. There's. It is. There, is there another the season? Yeah, it's supposed to be coming out. Yeah. I think it's really cute. Yeah. I love it. And there's a character named Maeve. <gasps> mm -hmm. She looks just like Margot Robbie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's nice for her. Yeah, um, I'll watch it because I need a new. I need a new show. That yeah, that one is really good. I'm trying to think if there's any other shows that we've been. When is Heartthrobber season two coming? Heartthrobber. 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 <laughs> Heartthrobber. I don't know. I feel like they were just filming it. <gasps> yeah. I, I never even watched the first one. Mm. Oh, you so like bad. it? You like it? Man, it is so freaking cute. It's just, That's what everyone says. You start so watching cute. it and you just sort of like lightly smile for the whole. You're like, yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're just always kind of like, oh, <laughs> okay. So cute. Aww. So cute. It's really sweet. It is really sweet. And the two main kids in it are really sweet. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sweet Love. boys. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've binged recently. Oh, well, update for anyone who hasn't heard, Desiree, Devin, and I were very upset <gasps> because Vampire Academy was canceled. Oh. oh we're not no. getting a second season. Mm. Oh, no. Did you ever watch First Kill? I tried. You didn't like it? No. Oh. Mm -mm. Well, that one also got canceled. I, I liked it, it, but I yeah. heard or I didn't hear. I saw on Dumois. <laughs> I heard from a friend. I saw on Dumois <laughs> that the recruit, that Noah Centineo show, is getting a second season. Yeah, we don't get a second season of any of the good shows. How do they decide? Who who are the decider people? I don't the decision know. makers. I don't know. The decider people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. These decision makers, the high they're higher ups. The higher ups. They don't like women. They should hire the three of us. Yes. We should to tell them instead. what will be good. hundred yeah. percent. We have our finger on the pulse. <laughs> the pulse yeah. on the finger. <laughs> pulse on the finger. We know what's up. <laughs> yeah. They should call us like maybe once every, once a month and be like, what do you think of about canceling these shows? And we'll be like, yes, yes, no, no, no. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cancel this one instead. Yeah. We'd be a huge asset. Yeah. Yes. If they want to make the money. Canceler. The canceler. <laughs> it's yeah. like the instead chancellor. Instead of the chancellor, we're the cancelers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I watched all of that Noah Centineo show. Really? It was my bedtime show. It was not good. It was a snooze fest? Is that what you're saying? It was a snooze fest. <laughs> it made me so sleepy. I was like, what is going on here? This guy's the worst at his job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only making bad decisions. We got a second season of that, but we don't get a second season of, um, oh my God, The Society. Miles uh, and I loved that show. Yeah. Mm. And we're never going to know what caused the smell. Well, you know, some things are better left a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's why I will never start a show if someone's like, oh, this is a really good show unless it's finished. Like, like I'll watch new mean? shows oh. when they come out, but if someone's like, oh, this season of whatever, like the What's first one that comes to mind is 4,400. 4,400 was such a good yes, show, yes, yeah. but it got canceled. And now we don't know. I still don't know. This has been decades and I still don't know how, why the 4,400 came back. What? What's, what was your favorite TV show of all time? Probably Lost. Really? Lost? There's yeah. a lot of Lost fanatics Probably in lost. this office. Wow. Did you like yeah. it? No, I never got into Lost. What about Breaking Bad? Did you like that? Mm -hmm. I liked Breaking Bad after Yeah. After the first season. I didn't really like the first season. Oh, okay. Why. Yeah. Oh, I liked the first season. I didn't season. love it. I liked it all. No, my show would be Eight Feet Under. Six Feet Under. Six Feet Under. <gasps> you were a Six Feet Under fan. Yeah, I loved it. Mm. it was so good. What's that about? I watch that Is that again. Vampires? No, it's no, about no. Undertakers. What is it's that? It's a guy. Like, like at the morgue. At the funeral home. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, and what's the guy's name from Dexter? The main guy, the killer. Dexter. Dexter, yeah, what's his real name? <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> Dexter Morgan. Michael. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> Michael something. Anyway, he's like the the main protagonist, and he's a gay undertaker. Oh. And it's like his crazy life, basically. You gotta watch. I'll watch it. It's, is it funny? You would like that one, yeah. Okay, good. I'll watch there's it. There's lots of funny parts. And there's oh, yeah. other famous people in it, like Francis McDormand, right? No. Yes, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Becky, <gasps> you need to watch. You've watched all shows of all time. I'm so surprised. I know. Well, I'm bad at shows like that, like Pushing Daisies, Fringe, like shows of that era, 24, I didn't really watch. Mm -hmm. I was just too obsessed with Lost. It took up all my brain. Yeah. Thinking 
thinking theories. It's not Francis McDormand. It's a different. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Francis McDormand. <gasps> I think it, I think her name is Francis though. Francis. Oh, I liked Rain, the TV show Rain. I Michael Hall was his name. <gasps> Michael C. Francis Conroy. Michael C. Hall. Francis Conroy. She was in like all the. Um, oh my god, I'm forgetting everything. My brain is fried. You're broken. She was in all like the um, American Horror Story shows. Oh yeah, yeah. She was in all the, the American Horror Story. That's what. It was. Yes, yes, yes. She's she in all the American Horror Story shows. Red hair in the American Horror Story. Mm-hmm. She's the one that. She really is missing that eye, right? Or something did happen yeah. to that eye. Yeah. She had. I'm she's missing so eye in one of the shows. She's she's like the mother in Six Fender. It's so good. Oh, you have to watch. Oh, she's recommend. good. This show is brought to you by BetterHelp. Right when I was leaving college, I really didn't know what I was doing. I was still waiting tables, which was a lot of stress in and of itself. I didn't know if I was moving to LA, if I was going to stay in Chicago. I mean, it was an experience that helped me learn a lot about myself. It was also a time where I was really grateful to have a therapist that I could talk to about it. I love having someone that I'm able to bounce ideas off of, someone that's just there to be an unbiased listener sometimes. You know, you don't always need that feedback from a partner or friend and also don't want to feel like you're putting something on them that they're not equipped to handle. And that's why we love BetterHelp. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash sit with us today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash sit with us. Something that I absolutely hate is when I go to the grocery store, I get all my groceries, I know what I'm making for dinner, and then I start cooking Lo and behold, I've forgotten one tiny little thing. It drives me bananas. I'm Mm -hmm. not very good at thinking of substitutions on my own. And that is why I absolutely love DoorDash. And DoorDash delivers groceries right to your door. With thousands of grocery stores to choose from, you'll find the best in your neighborhood and boost your local economy with each and every order. You want even more value? You can save on all your grocery and restaurant favorites with a $0 delivery fee on all eligible orders with a Dash Pass membership. Get 50% off your first DoorDash order up to a $20 value when you use code SITWITHUS23 at checkout. Limited time offer, terms apply. That's 50% off up to $20, no minimum subtotal, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code SITWITHUS23. Don't forget, that's code SITWITHUS23 for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. All right, you want to see some tickies? Oh my gosh, so what are we doing now? Now we're going to react to some TikToks. Oh, we're reacting? (gasps) We're reacting to some TikToks. I mean, what would we do without TikToks these days? I love TikTok. It's an amazing algorithm. (laughs) Mm, You feel served too? You feel served. Rainy's been served. So how did you choose these TikToks, Rainy? Um, I just, they came up on my feed and I thought, that's interesting. You're like, oh, Matt and Becky would love this. <laughs> yeah, well, that's I was like, interesting. that's got some legs. You're going to have to here. read for me. Yeah, I know, because it's obviously tiny. But okay, so essentially, this, it's famous men I would trust to watch my drink at the bar. And then it's going to swipe <gasps> okay. through and just tell you which, and I want to know if you agree or not. Okay, so these are Rainy showing us TikToks of famous men. Yeah, and the question is, would I trust them with my drink at a bar? Okay, to not do anything crazy. Who is it? Brendan Fraser. Okay. Seth Rogen. Uh huh. Jack Black. Uh huh. Bill Nye. Uh huh. Paul Rudd. Uh huh. Keanu Reeves. Uh huh. That's it. Literally all of them. You're Bill Nye. Angels. All of them. <gasps> you think the science guy would do something to your drink? Yeah. He's You're ruin his reputation. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess you shouldn't trust anyone. At- with your drink at the yeah. bar, unless it's like who of that group a do you think is the most trustworthy though? <laughs> the most. I wonder if we have the same answer. Should we say it at the same time? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> he just seems the most trustworthy. He does seem really trustworthy. Right? He seems so sweet. <laughs> he seems very genuine. Yeah. yeah. Like and yeah, like all like guy. talk show hosts, like everybody loves him. Everybody in the industry is like, no, he's a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. He just seems really like, 
As much as yeah. you can know a person that you don't know, that's a celebrity. He seems like a nice man. Yeah. Have you seen that interview of like, it's like both he and Sandra Bullock were interviewed about, was it Speed? Speed? Mm -hmm. And they both had a crush on each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. They're so That's sweet. so heartbreaking. I really liked so he did cute. an interview um, when the new Matrix came out mm. and his... I'm going to play it for you because his laugh, I think, is so funny in it. He's basically being interviewed, talking about how they made NFTs of, like, mm. the Matrix. And, like, he's not really for it. He's not into NFTs. He's not into it. But for a funny reason. Is that your favorite that he's done is Matrix? No, I think my favorite Keanu Reeves movie is Speed. Speed. Great movie. Not John Wick. I love Speed. John Wick is really good though. Yeah. That series is like very fun, very like violent. Very violent. I feel like oh. you really have to learn all your martial arts skills to be in those movies. Yeah. Do you have any background in martial arts? I actually did take karate when I was younger. <laughs> Do you remember true. anything from it? Can you show? Absolutely us not. I cried because I couldn't break the board. You know how you're supposed to like <gasps> chop it and like yeah. kick it and break uh -huh. it. I couldn't. I was strong enough. I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll teach you how to do it, so then you can like have your your resurgence. My confidence, yes. Yeah, so you can have your confidence back. boosted again. Oh yeah, healing the inner child. Yeah. Okay. So here's Keanu Reeves getting asked a question, and then laughing in a way that I think is so funny. He sounds like a birdie. And so, like when you think about the concept of digital scarcity and things that are, you know, they can't be copied, that are easily reproduced. <laughs> well, but they're not the same. <laughs> it's even like, I mean, he's like kind of roasting the guy, but even yeah. doing it politely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I love it. Very darling. He tickles me. Yeah. He's so funny. He's Is funny. John Wick your favorite Keanu Reeves movie? I like the Matrix. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. The Matrix is so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wachowski sisters. Fire. 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 Exactly. Yeah, I feel like the first one and the second one were very good. We realized during the pandemic that I, you know when you watch a movie, but you didn't actually take anything away oh, from yeah. it? Oh, yeah. I said something about the Matrix, and Keith was like, Becky, that is not the plot of the Matrix. Like, and I was like, no, it definitely is. But I think I'd only seen the Matrix like when it came out in theaters. Oh. And so we ended up rewatching it mm. during the Panini. And the first one holds up. So good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great film. Mm -hmm. Second film, decent. Really liked it. As we keep going, I like them a little bit less. Mm. <laughs> the newest one was pretty meta, so I thought that was interesting. Right. But I still didn't love it as much as I loved the first no, one. The first one's the best one. Yeah. I Just like Jurassic yeah. Park, you know? The, the, keep it <gasps> yeah. original. That is true. Although I really like the Jurassic Park with um, the third one, with um, William H. Macy, where his son goes mm -hmm. onto the island and he has mm -hmm. to go find him mm -hmm. and kind of trick everyone into going back. Mm -hmm. They always trick him to go back. They always have to get... What's his name? Does not want to go back. He never wants to go back. Don't take me back. Dr. <laughs> something. Neil? <laughs> his name Neil? Neil. I feel like it is. Name something. But he never wants to go back. I haven't seen it. <gasps> I know, and I really, I, I really need to. But I feel like you haven't I've, seen any of them. It's such a special movie mm -hmm. that I feel like I'm like, well, I want to be in like a great headspace and like oh, just yeah. really enjoy it. I feel like you would really enjoy it. Yeah, I'd like mean, heard like a your doppelgangers in it. <gasps> That's true. Is Laura, Laura Dern. Dern. Laura Dern. Yeah. Nice. Laura <laughs> Dern. And in Jurassic Park. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, no, she's not in the. Are you talking about the Matrix or Jurassic Park? Oh, I haven't seen either. Okay. But oh actually with the Jurassic Park I was going to see it and then Jonathan was like, yeah, if if you haven't seen it you should really try and get like a theater showing cuz it's like yeah. it's like it's worth it. But then I think I think if I'm being honest, I probably won't get that done. So maybe probably I should have to just wait it. a really long time. Yeah. But I yeah. think like setting the mood and making it like cuz it was this big blockbuster movie when it came out. Yeah. So just like sitting down Put on with, your like, dinosaur popcorn. jammies. Put yeah. on your dinosaur yeah. jammies and yeah. sit from the TV. Watch. Were you a dinosaur kid or were you like a trans no. kid? Um, it was more like My Pretty Ponies. Hell yeah. Oh you my know? gosh. I that was a my horse girl. <laughs> I was a horse girl, <laughs> horse girl when I was little. Horse girl. I was a horse girl. Oh yeah. You want to, you guys want to see CoStar? Do you guys have the CoStar app? So can you explain Not to me anymore. what CoStar is? I have no idea. I've never even heard of CoStar. Oh, you guys don't have I have no idea it. what CoStar is. 
CoStar is essentially you put in like your date of birth, where you were born and like the times. And okay. then it gives you like a very specific astrology reading. And it gives you a day, a like day of. So like mine is don't apologize for having needs. Mm. That's like mm. my most important thing. I downloaded Can you the look up one. others or you have to do it on your own? <gasps> yeah, I can do. I can look up. Well, can I look you up? I think it's like set to yours, isn't it? I, I had it, but it sent me like mean messages. So I I can't believe it sent you mean it. stuff. What is the mean message? It wasn't a mean. Meanest, it was like they were the negative. One? It was like bad things aren't going to happen or something like that. And I was like. Whoa. Tie your scary. shoes because if you fall, you're gonna fall hard. <laughs> it was scary, it was scary. <laughs> Who do you are, think yeah. makes these up? Who do you think like sits there and is like? I bet they have a whole. I bet they have a team. Oh yeah. Do you think they're like the Hallmark card reject people? Like you oh can write God. Hallmark Rejects. cards, but you can write mean things to people that'll send to their phone every day, right? Matt's <laughs> <Sure. laughs> <laughs> goes to some dark places. I bet. I wonder how prestigious it is. So it's probably prestigious. Oh, prestigious! Uh, it probably is. A lot of people probably want to do it. Watch, it's all AI. Oh my god, that would be devastating. But it's probably just like a copywriter. Yeah, the AI copywriter. <laughs> <laughs> Your life is literally run by robots. Okay, that makes no, sense. No, it's probably done We're by like astrology astrologers. I bet. Yeah. Like, how do you oh, become is... an astrologer? <laughs> You gotta ask Eugene. He knows all You're the probably, deets. Eugene could definitely write Pull these. Pull out the tarot cards. Yeah. Mine is do, like, for example, do see through dresses, fresh flowers, and plead the fifth. Do see through dresses. Plead the fifth? Plead the fifth. I know. They're sort of wacky. Don't mimicry Instagram ads hypotheticals. That's not a, this is AI. <laughs> that does sound kind of like yeah. AI. That is pretty weird. Wait, how do, do I have to download it to look it up? Yeah, and you need your, do you have your, like, time of birth? Yeah. Oh, nice. I know, I got to look. We did this once, and I asked my mom. Oh, wait, I realized I said, do you know what time I was born? Eugene is doing an astro astrology thing. Just kidding. I realized I own my own birth certificate. Oh, um, so. <laughs> I don't know what time. I think it was, like, six. Yeah. Let's just say mm. six. Okay, do you know what CoStar Personalized Astrology says? Like the tagline <laughs> for the app, uh, CoStar Personalized Astrology. Guess what the, the tagline <gasps> is under the app? It what? is. The AI powered daily horoscope. I literally told you that <laughs> without even knowing anything about Are the app. Are you kidding me? Uh, it's AI. I've been taking this serious <laughs> and it's been a random AI. <laughs> You've been listening to oh AI. Oh my God. This is like the Travelers, that TV show on Netflix. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. I've had like serious conversations with my friends about our like mm. compatibility. <laughs> but wow. Is it any less valid if a computer does it rather than a person? Yeah, it's like, well, we still had a good talk yeah. about our, our strengths and weaknesses in our friendship. <laughs> right? I mean, you know, just take it with a grain of salt. Oh, Maggie added me. Except mine for today says me and Maggie communicate in pure poetry. <gasps> Maggie wants to examine the universe with you. Tell them that you're interested in what they have to say. Then give them space to say it. Wow. wow. Smoking like a true AI, you know what I mean? I'm <laughs> a Gemini, and she's, wait, she's a Scorpio? I thought she was a Leo. Maybe Zach's the Leo. As a Virgo son, it's easy for you to see the future consequences of every decision. Do you see that? Do you see the consequences? Yeah, I'm definitely like a planner person, you know? Oh, yeah, you're like avoiding all sorts of worst case scenarios. Yeah, this makes you an excellent planner. It's, oh. If the world's a stage, you're the one behind the scenes pulling out all the stops to keep the show running. You're the puppet master. Wow. <gasps> My God. I'm also a Gemini moon. <gasps> As a Gemini moon, you experience inner conflict because you're always trying to use your mind to rationalize what you feel. Mm. That sounds like Matt. <laughs> that sounds like Matt. <laughs> this can lead you to be okay with something one minute and totally not okay the next. <laughs> <laughs> Rao, <laughs> Rao, Eugene would probably be like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you appear strong and assertive. <gasps> as an Aries rising, others see you as someone who expresses themselves fearlessly. It's easy for people to get to know you because you wear your feelings on the surface and open up to them immediately. You are not shy. Am I, I feel shy? Like that's true. I feel like you're not that shy. Sometimes I'm shy. <laughs> Were you a shy boy growing up? Yes, I. When I was younger, I was really shy. Uh -huh. My mom said I would never leave her side, even like when she would go into the gas station, like pay. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. You're like, where are we going next? Okay, <clears throat> dues for today. Mm -hmm. 
Ice cream. Oh, hell yeah. <gasps> Let's go. Sunshine. And, We're already here. And venting. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a gossip sesh. Don't. Yeah. Crowds. Overcompensating and perfectionism. <gasps> Well, how can you not be perfect when you're perfect? <laughs> Today, your emotions feel like a big roller coaster. <gasps> you overanalyze over -analyze everything they say. Each little pause in their speech feels like a sign of disinterest. Find something beautiful to look at and spend oh. a few minutes contemplating it. You already know the meaning of re re reciprocity, and that's a start. <gasps> well, you could just look at us for a couple minutes. Whoa. What do you want to vent about? What do you want to know. kiki about? The American know. healthcare system? Yeah, Trash. It is pretty messed <laughs> Trash. up. Trash. It is pretty messed up. <laughs> um, well, mine today says, a pleasant moment with a stranger will remind you of the joy of meeting new people. Oh. The smallest of interactions can have the largest impacts. It's up to you. This month, you have to focus on how to tear down walls when you're shut down. You're not a bad person for respecting order. Don't resist an opportunity to expand. The general theme of your life during this period is to come up with a scheme. Ooh, snake. <laughs> a lack of anxiety makes you more interesting to be around. Oh, get rid of your anxiety. That is mean. That is kind of mean. That's I'm like, okay, get rid of your that, anxiety. I'm like, get yeah, rid of it. I'm, You'll be way more fun. I'm attempting it. It says do gray areas, life rafts, and safe words. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> do <a safe> word. <laughs> Don't double book hyper criticism or power games. Oh <gasps> I Becky, no more power games. Got to stop with the power my games. Favorite game. So my favorite game is the power game. So manipulative. That's wow, key. wow, wow. What about you? Uh, what does it say about your guys' friendship? Are you your normal Matthew? I just put Matt. Oh, you put Matt. How do you describe the difference of people calling you Matt versus Matthew? Like, do you do you care? I don't really care, but most people don't call me Matthew. Yeah, I kind of like the name Matthew. Though, so when I was working in a corporate environment, there was someone who started the exact same name with me as my exact same name, Matthew McLean. Oh my gosh! And his email was like assigned before mine. Mm. So he didn't have a number in his, and I did have a number in mm. mine. Mm -mm. So then, and he would go by Matt on all his correspondences. So then I put Matthew yeah. on mine so that everyone would automatically be like, okay, Matthew. And no, it was me and not him. Yeah. You know, even though I didn't want to do that. Oh, Matt, there you are. Accept view. Okay. You can enjoy time together without Worrying whether there will be more. You and Matt have similar desires for a real connection right now. Get We're stick connected. and pokes of your favorite <laughs> animals together. Whoa. Tattoo time, Matt. And Matt <laughs> Matt's always wanted to get a tattoo. What, is, what does that mean, stick and pokes? A stick and poke is a type of tattoo. What? <laughs> <laughs> What? It's a tattoo without a machine. The AI told us to get stick and poke. Pokes. That's a wild yeah. AI message. Get a tattoo. Get a tattoo. Of an animal. Uh, Matt, we are compatible in love and pleasure, oh. sex and aggression, <laughs> and philosophies in life. Oh, my we God. We are less compatible in moods and emotions and senses of responsibility. And we're totally not compatible in basic identity and intellect and communication. <laughs> <laughs> we do not collect in, or we do not connect so, intellectually. No. Okay. We let our bodies do the talking. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to know what mine says for us? It's Matt, different. Matt, you feel a pull towards duty. <gasps> and Becky is very assertive. You both think a connection <laughs> <What> is porny. <laughs> you both think a connection is the ability to talk for hours about anything. <gasps> You are always subtly training each other to behave in specific <laughs> ways. I'm sorry. Are we Christian Grey? <laughs> is this Fifty Shades of Grey? What is this? Might as well be explicit. <gasps> <laughs> Compliment that on something besides their physical beauty. <laughs> That's what I'm always telling Matt. Tell me something other than how hot I am. <laughs> This AI is like steamy. It's dirty. <laughs> that is gross. We have <laughs> that is gross. <laughs> we have between the two of us 
uh, we combined our little charts and we have harmony. Our harmonies are renewed authority. We're smart together. <laughs> <laughs> we have unexpected chemistry, openness, and clarity. Our challenges. <laughs> I wonder if the mine are different. So this Yours is different than mine. My <laughs> <laughs> Mine for challenges is funny though. Mine for challenges is unclear boundaries and dark jokes. <laughs> Do you want to hear what my challenges yeah. are? <laughs> Delusion. <laughs> Delusion and bad habits. <laughs> Jealousy or judgment. <laughs> oh my God, that is so funny. <laughs> But our harmony is maturity and drive, shared wisdom, <laughs> unexpected chemistry. I got that one too. And mutual vulnerability. <laughs> <laughs> These are so funny. Yet at the same time, we're delusional with bad <laughs> habits <laughs> and we're judgmental. <laughs> and we tell dark jokes and have unclear boundaries with each other. Oh my god, so funny. <laughs> oh. Um, let's see. Um, so funny. Who knew this app had so much uh, to offer? <laughs> no clue. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. What animal are you guys getting? Tattooed. Oh. I mean, I've already gotten the cats, so I think Matt has to get the cats too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matt has to get the cats too. <laughs> Why did you show like random pictures of like garlic? You know? <laughs> like, who picked who picked the things for this? I think I have a potato. It's a potato or a lemon. <laughs> it's a toss up. It's a toss up. Um, I don't think this like re reaffirmed my relationship <laughs> with astrology. This app, <laughs> um, but I understand why people really like it. Yeah. I think it's an interesting, like you said, you had good conversations with your friends about it. Yeah. I think it's good for like conversations. It's a good laugh. Good laugh. Yeah. It's a good, a good laugh. laugh. But if you really like it and you're very into it, like, I yeah. mean, we're obviously doing the the least. Instead of doing the most with astrology, we're doing the absolute least you could do. So yeah. I'm sure there are aspects of it we're missing out on. Oh, but yeah. this was really funny. This is AI generated. If this there's is like an a AI. professional involved, yeah. like it's probably better. Yeah. This is a robot. I told you. This cow <laughs> I didn't even know is murdering about me. this and I knew it was AI. <laughs> I wonder if anybody else knows that it's AI. Because I feel like I've never I mean, heard anyone says say yeah. like, AI. Co-star. AI generated. <laughs> I'm like, did it change recently? Maybe it got like, maybe people got tired of it and they're like, <gasps> okay, well, I guess. Like maybe the people who worked there got killed by all the AI. <gasps> yeah. Oh. They got it. Do you guys yeah. ever watch BattleBots? I really want Try Guys to do BattleBots. Oh, mm. is that where like the robots battle mm -hmm. each other? Like I've you have seen, to make I've the robot. That. Yeah, you make a robot oh, and then they yeah. fight. Yeah. Yeah. What are some Try Guys videos that you've pitched that they haven't done? BattleBots. Mm. BattleBots. Becky meets Sean Mendez. Ah. Uh, you know he's on Raya. <gasps> well, I thought he was with that older woman, the chiropractor. Oh, yeah. I saw that. I yeah. saw that. I don't know. Is that official? What? They were like holding hands. <laughs> he shaved his head and now he's she with his like chiropractor. He shaved his head. She Sean. adjusted his heart <laughs> away from Camila. She adjusted Mendes. him away. Um, yeah, I wanted that one. BattleBots was one that I thought would be really fun. I think, you know, Try Wives Try Wine Tasting sounds great. <laughs> um, like spa experience. <laughs> um, like best spas in the world. Like go through all the onsens. Like there's so many, just a plethora. Yeah, a plethora of relaxing things we could try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if there was anything else that I wanted them to do. I actually said one that would be funny for us to do. Hmm. <laughs> Would if we made fan art? <laughs> if we made fan art, yeah. like we wrote so it funny. or we drew it, like drew our own, like oh made our own fan art. Because fans sent in stuff, and it's like so good. Some of it is really good. They like, have it on the walls. So good. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Right. I feel like mine would be trash. Would you do it for yourself, or would you do it for like your partners? I think we'd have to switch partners. Yeah. Like I would make something for Zach or Eugene, and you would make yeah. something for. 
Keith or Zach. Yeah. Zach, you would make something for Eugene or Keith. Switcheroo. A little switcheroo. Yeah. Switcheroo. I feel like that would be yeah. good. Mm-hmm. That would be funny. Mm-hmm. We'd be bad at it. I mean. I did yeah. want to try a boxing video, but Keith told me that it would never happen. I think we've mentioned it before on the podcast. No, thanks. I could see you being good at boxing. I've got big arms. I feel like I just need to work them out and then I'll be like, pow, 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 pow. A self-defense class. A self-defense class I think would be good. Yeah, I think we just need that in life. Yeah. But there was some reason they like knew the video would do poorly. Oh, really? Like other videos with a similar concept do yeah. poorly. Yeah. The algorithm, you know, YouTube. Yeah. It's very picky these days. Really picky. Yeah. I would love them to do like try being on like a soap opera. Mm. Like having one line Ooh. on a soap opera, like a general hospital. Yeah. Days of our lives. I think those are the only two they could be on. Or like a telenovela. There are more mm. of those. I think they should be like hostesses. Oh, yeah. And working in a restaurant. Yeah. yeah they did talk about that one. Yeah. Eugene yeah. and I were joking about that one because we said that the other two would have to be the servers. And Eugene yeah. and I, as ex servers, would be the customers and we'd be <laughs> bad customers. Yeah, that's good. Because that's what I was thinking. I was like, okay, well, they would have to have like a manager who didn't know who they were and was mean right. to them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and Keith was like, I think we could do it at a regular restaurant. And I was like, there are zero regular restaurants that would allow you <laughs> to come in <laughs> and work without ever having any training at all. Yeah. Or even just like one day of training. I feel like other things in the surface industry would be so hard, like being a flight attendant. Oh <gasps> my gosh. Yeah. Mm. On like the longest flight in the world or something, you know, like really up the ante. Oh yeah. Have it be vlog style and they're just talking to the camera like I am losing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would also be crazy for the people that are on that flight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like what would be you do? Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be really cool. Yeah. Other service industry jobs. So it would be another Or fun one. like dog groomer. Like oh. some of those cuts are they did that. so different. They didn't. Wow, Matt doesn't watch. Cut it out. Wow, Matt doesn't watch Try Guys videos. Cut it out. <laughs> they did it. Vanderpuff, Vanderpoof. Oh, that's true. That's yeah. True, that's true. But those dogs weren't like, uh, take a lot of grooming. They were like wash, you know. Yeah. Some I mean like the it, big yeah. fluffy dogs where you have to like, the like the Japanese type. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shibu, Shibu Inus. Yeah. Like the Japanese style of grooming makes them look like little bears and stuff where it's Aww. like perfect. And so, so crazy. Or like doing something really creative. Like new, uh, like potato chip flavor, and they can come <gasps> with any flavor, and they go to like to a food science lab and have to like yeah, put the chemicals or the dusts whatever together and yeah. like have to make like the new flavor. Yes, that's fun. Right, that'd be crazy. Yeah, or like work at a recycling plant, see how to recycle. Oh, that's really good. I like that a lot. <laughs> or how nothing is recycled. How nothing is how most things aren't recycled. Yeah, are unable yeah. to be recycled. Cute. 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 Did you have another TikTok or you just had that one TikTok? Oh, yeah. Okay, here's this. <laughs> this is Joe Biden being sworn in, and it says books I would get sworn in on instead of the Bible. What would I don't you know. Do? What book would I get sworn in on? Yeah, I don't know either. This is the the Pixie Hollow books. Did you ever read those? It's no. like, oh Pixie my Hollow. gosh. They were so funny. It was like Beck in the Great Berry Battle and like Rena and the something, something, something. Watch. They're what? so good. Um, Judy B. Jones, maybe. Okay. Um, I don't Ramona remember that one. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> maybe like where the sidewalk ends. Mm-hmm. Aw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's cute. That'd be cute. Like a Ronald Dahl book. Ronald Dahl would get spooky. It would get scary. Yeah. Spooky. Very scared. Yeah. I honestly have no idea. Because you don't know how to read. I forgot. You forgot how to read? <laughs> <laughs> you get sworn in on like a book that you wrote. Yeah. You would like write <laughs> the, <laughs> the ultimate. world according to Matt. <laughs> yeah. See the world through my eyes. Yeah. That's what you get sworn in on. That's a good name. All four of them. No. Or like a book of pictures of you. Mm, picture book. Mm. Picture book? Mm-hmm. I would like a picture book. Picture book. Every once in a while I read the kids' books that are in the like bookstore. Yeah. Just to like see what's up, see what the kids are reading these days. Some of them are like really sad. They're like really teaching kids how to deal with shit. Like Bambi's oh. mother, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like how to deal with like grief and like anxiety. It's like Mr. Rogers did that too. Mm-hmm. Mr. Rogers did do that. Yeah. Aw. Yeah. If there was a book version of Mr. Rogers, I would get sworn in on that. 
That's how to be kind. Oh, 100 percent. That's yeah. how to be kind book. Yeah, I love him. Yeah. I love him. I love him. I love Mr. Rogers. I mean, you is see? it true yeah. that he had like crazy tattoos? That was like always the rumor. I heard that Mr. Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he was like in the Marines or whatever. So that's why he always wore long maybe. sleeves and stuff because he was actually all tatted. <gasps> that's That was a rumor. That's I don't know hot. If it's true. That's tea. Can anyone let us know? Verify. You know? Let us Do know you in verify the comments. Or de-verify? Yeah, I feel like is they didn't mention news? that in the documentary. <laughs> <laughs> like commending his life and then they're like actually yeah. he had 500 tattoos on his body he's fully inked <gasps> <laughs> mr rogers you uh, minx. who knows i don't know let us know if you know i wonder what mr rogers ai generated thing is today <gasps> uh, if he were that'd alive. be a good one what his yeah. concern is ai his mr side. rogers wow <laughs> or if you could just have an ai mr rogers like writing yeah. to you yeah this is going to be like Megan. It's going to start like a good idea. And then. <laughs> I don't think the technology is there yet, Becky. She's going to be killing your family. <laughs> she's going to be killing your family. I mean, isn't Megan kind of like, I mean, I haven't seen Megan yet. Still. <gasps> but isn't it kind of like Bicentennial Man? Remember when they had like the robot, the robot, the robot come and like help the family? Kind of. Yeah. But it's more like if the person who made Bicentennial Man, like rushed making them and then gave them to somebody <laughs> <laughs> then gave them to somebody whose family died. <laughs> Whoa. I think it's, would you have an AI like robot in your house? Depends what it could do. How could it help me? You know, well, it's AI, Matt. It's ever evolving, always learning, like, always watching. Can it do all my laundry? Can it clean everything for me? Can it walk the dogs for me? Can it pick up all the dog poop for me? That'd be a big mm. one, you know? At what point Paint does the, the AI house. become kind of too like, real? When it starts talking back. <gasps> when it gives you sass, that's yeah. when it's when it out of the house. <laughs> like when it talks back. That's true. Because it has autonomy. <gasps> when right? it has an opinion. Yeah. Scary. Scary. I don't think I want AI in my house. You probably already have it. I think you don't it would know. scare me. It's like, Alexa, she's there. I know. Every time when Alexa tells me something I didn't ask for, I'm like, Alexa? <laughs> like I'm not rude to Alexa because I'm scared of her. But like every once in a while I'm like, Alexa, I did not ask you that. <laughs> She'd be like, Did you want to know the weather? I'm like, no. <laughs> She's like, Good to you. I'm listening. I'm always listening, Becky. Yeah. Yeah, I'm scared of AI. Yeah. Roomba, does Roomba count? I don't think Roomba counts. It kind of does. Cause it, it like learns maps. your house. Yeah, but that's more of like a programming. It doesn't learn like, it doesn't learn on its own. It doesn't it learn that you always put your shirt on the floor in the same spot. Ugh. Maybe. It just remembers what you're, <laughs> it's programmed to remember the layout of your house. Well, maybe the next iteration of Roomba will suffice your needs better, Becky. Maybe. I really like, did you ever watch Watson on Jeopardy? No. I love Watson. Watson's a supercomputer. And mm -hmm. Watson played on Jeopardy against like other Jeopardy champions. Did he win? Did she um, win? I don't think, I actually think Watson did not win. Um, oh. But what's his name? Why am I blinking? Uh, Alex Trebek really seemed to not like Watson. And there were times where like oh. Watson would guess something because Watson was supposed to be able to basically like hear the question, interpret it, obviously, because mm -hmm. it's not written the, in the form of a question. It's written yeah. in the form of a statement. Um, yeah. It was supposed to be able to hear what the other contestants had said and then basically scour the internet and mm. give an answer oh. in the appropriate way. Yeah. And there was like one time where Watson said something that someone else said and Alex Trebek was like, no, Watson. Like he sassed Watson hard. Whoa. Hard. You know, AI is not there yet. Megan's not going to come to life. That's true. If Watson's like the best version of what we have right now. I don't know. This was years ago he played. I actually worked on a docu. I like was a PA on a uh, robot documentary and mm -hmm. they have not gotten very far. I was like going to be scared about it. But then like all the things I was like, <laughs> I this is lame. Like it literally like they're so stupid <laughs> right now. I And like it just looks like. Rainy, I am running away from you when the AI is coming at us. <laughs> <laughs> She's like saying it into the camera. The camera is going to like. They are us. dumb. I Well, right now, I dumb. mean, they there's room for improvement. Maybe they'll, you know, maybe they'll get up there. But I think they would agree if they ever got smart, 
they would agree that at this point in time, they were dumb. Wow. <laughs> I'm scared. She's covering herself just in case someday the robots <laughs> come for her. Just in case the AI They scour decide. the internet and hear Rainy talking about how dumb she thinks the robots are. The internet is forever, Rainy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'd rather deal with robots than like a, like a bad oh. virus or like global warming. Robots are way less scary to me. Mm. That's true because I guess there's a solution for that. Mm -hmm. Would you rather have robots or the the cordyceps virus oh my from gosh. the last Ooh. of us where you turn into a little cordyceps? Creepy. I don't want that. <laughs> so you'd rather have robots? Yeah. You'd rather be iRobot? I'd rather have iRobots than that. See, I think I'd rather be the scary cordyceps. Why? Well, I think I'm going with the first wave regardless. Your face is going to be just one big mushroom. Yeah, but I won't know. And I'll be happy because I'll be with like my mushroom family. But maybe mm -hmm. you do know and you're secretly screaming inside. You don't know. No, I'll be dead. <laughs> That's what they said. <laughs> you're no longer a person. You're a mushroom. You're just controlled by mushrooms. Yeah. But I think if the robots came, I think the robots are more likely to be like the Matrix robots and like imprison us and use our bodies as energy. But then at least we can live. Yeah, but Have why would you want to live? Because we wouldn't know. I mean, I guess sometimes during the Matrix, I was like, Neo, is your life so bad? Like, what is so bad about this life you're living here? Yeah. Like, you seem to have a really good <laughs> seemed job. Like, it seemed like real. Yeah. Like real of, life. Like a yeah. real life. Yeah. It was so real that he couldn't tell whether it was real or not. Yeah. And you, if you can, like, mentally control it. See, but I think that, a little bit. that's where I would draw the line. I'd be like, I'd rather just be taken out by the mushrooms than live in the robot world. Mm. Well, what do you feel about that movie, uh, the Jim Carrey movie where he was in the... the <gasps> Truman Show. Truman Show. Truman Show. Like, would you be down with that? No, literally so scary. Everyone would yeah. be watching your every move. Yeah. 24-7. But you don't know. And it's like a real, it's like a pretty good simulation. You feel like you're living. I guess if I, if I never found out. Oh, yeah. If there's a way to never find out. Oof. Then it'd be fine. Then I'd be okay with it. But if I found out, or I guess that's the same thing for the Matrix. I guess if I never found out that the robots know. took me, I wouldn't know. You would know. And then mushrooms, I would just be dead. <sighs> well, sounds like you're dying either way. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like, dead. I don't think I'm going to make it. Well, that is what I think about those shows sometimes. Like, Last of Us, I get a little more because they formed a society that yeah. seems like it's, a you know, they have mm -hmm. schools. They trying have, to. Trying to. Yeah. But like other places like Walking Dead. I mean, I guess the zombie apocalypse happened much closer in time than this, right? Like. Last of Us is, what, 20 years? Yeah, 20 years, yeah. Um, but, like, Walking Dead, I was actually talking about this with Zach the other day. I was mm -hmm. like, the reason that I could not stand watching that show anymore is when the little kid on the show, Carl, I think his name was, got shot or something. Mm -hmm. And they did all this crazy stuff to keep this kid alive. And yeah. I was like, what are you keeping this kid alive for? He's going to live in a zombie world. There are no other children that he can find. Yeah. yeah. He's never, like, what happiness is he going to find on this world? Yeah. Like, unfortunately, he was shot, and that's really sad for the fake t TV show character. <laughs> but, like, I think they should just, like, let him go peacefully. And Ben, like, yeah. we love you. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. This is also in a fictional world. Sometimes, yeah, when people, when there's like a really sad death, I have to be like, sometimes I'll Google a picture of the actor, like now. And I'm like, oh yeah, they're alive and they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rainy. <really? laughs> it's like they're gone so for sweet. <laughs> but well, we hope everyone is washing their hands, wearing their masks, getting vaccinated, getting boosted for all the things that you need to. Mm -hmm. um, peeing after sex, being nice to servers. Be nice to service people everywhere. Be nice mm -hmm. to your friends. Mm -hmm. Be nice to your coworkers. And don't take AI astrology too seriously. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.